It's Flavor. We got the beats that move you. Daz and asked for your Monday morning, and we got a special guest in the studio, the stud himself, Kurt. Hey, Marina, guys. What's From up, the bro? mighty Maruko Mantis yes. all the way to the Flavor Studios. Welcome, brother. Good to see you for our first Monday of 2020. Yeah, happy new year to you guys, too. Yeah. It's a great way to start the show off, man. A great guest to have and friend of the show, but also contestant on the coming season of The Bachelorette. Yeah. Um, How was that, man? It was uh, an experience to say the least. Damn. I mean, Look, I didn't apply to be on the show. Whatever, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they all say, bro. Hey, hey. That's what they all Just say. Like, nah, in all seriousness, like it's quite a big decision for you to make going on reality TV, especially for a show like The Bachelorette, where you where you're looking for love and you're meeting people. It must have been a pretty uh, interesting experience for you being a person that's not necessarily in front of the cameras the whole time to have your life for a few weeks video like what what was it like bro yeah absolutely that was um one of the reasons why i want to go on the show it's definitely out of my comfort zone so uh yeah jumping on board and knowing that my face and uh how i'm portrayed is gonna be on oh, national television I so know. um that was a little bit scary a little bit freaky but uh obviously tinder and bumble didn't work so uh, <laughs> <laughs> gotta try something else right i gotta ask man with, with these kind of situations you've got a whole bunch of dudes competing for one girl's affections were there any dudes on the show that you just didn't get along with just like that dude he if i never saw him again in my life it wouldn't make me upset oh there was you, you had your um your gym junkies and then you had your bit of your your geek nerd types and then you had your just your straight shooters so uh, there was moments where you kind of grinded your gears a bit, oh, yeah. uh, but um, everyone was there hopefully for the right reasons. So uh, these are a few people you vibed with a bit better, uh, a few you didn't, and you just kind of made your own little circles. So the filming's wrapped up, right? It's all done. It's it's finished now. Um, what's it like coming back to reality in the real world and people asking you, "Oh, did you get love? Who won?" Is it quite hard to keep it on the wraps? Yeah, a lot of people didn't actually know that I disappeared. I went on a work sabbatical. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, just coming back from work, um, obviously I travel quite a bit for work, so people just assumed I was away on a trip, so I just kind of, like, filtered back into normal life. Mm. Um, but the last 24 hours has been uh, surreal. I got, obviously, announced yeah. on the show, and my phone went f flat twice uh, yesterday. So just social media blowing up and people tagging you and... People sliding in the DMs already. Yeah. So there's a there's a video going around online at the moment. It's up on all the uh, the news articles and in the NZ Heralds etc. of the Bachelorette and a bit of a promo video. So so the lady's name is Lucina. Lucina. All right, your wife's name is Lucina, <laughs> and um, she's got a few things on this promo video as to what she's looking for in a man. So we're gonna play a few out and um, see if you're that guy. Okay. Yeah. I want a guy with a good smile. I love a romantic partner. <laughs> That'll be nice. A romantic smile. Kurt, do you have a romantic smile? Do you think you got a romantic smile? No, oh, I got that cheesy corny smile, eh? <laughs> no, you do have a nice smile, man. Have you had your teeth done, like, within your lifetime? Nah, this is all just Colgate. Yeah, very nice. This has got very nice teeth. Very oh, blue we'll eyes say, as well. So we'll tick the box for the we'll first one. We'll tick the box for the yeah, first one. All right, one. you got the romantic smile. You got the smile. We'll tick that. Here's the second one. I love a guy that can go for a surf and then wear a business suit and clean up well. I like someone with a good wit. <laughs> oh, surf. man. Do you oh. surf? Nah, bro. I've got the dead body. I don't go surfing at all. Do you, do you own a business suit? I wear suits every day for work. Okay, well, they're, they're well, really, yeah, half a point. Yeah, so, so two from three? Two, two, two from, from three? Two from three. We'll yeah. give them that. We'll yeah, give yeah. them that. What was, what was the, what was, what was the, um, I don't know, because obviously you had some one-on-one -on -one time with her. What? What was the craziest what thing? Like, are you yeah. allowed? Uh, yeah, are you allowed to like share any of the crazy stuff you did? Where was it? Where was the uh, Where was the bachelor? Was it in an island? Um, so it was filmed here in Auckland. Okay. Um, location, I'm not too sure. If, know, yeah, okay. Not. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Um, I think too crazy. You gotta watch the show and find out all the small things. Yeah. But um, bake. I love to bake, so that was something that um I uh, <laughs> interesting put forward to her. Yeah. Oh, okay. What is your favorite thing to bake? Uh, Oreo truffles. Okay. Yeah. It's Oreo truffles, brother. The... Oreo truffles. That sounds way too fancy. So, so they're decadent. Me, so you're telling me that decadent. your baking was your trump card when they say, "Oh, you know what? What? What is Kurt about? What? Do you, what can you do for me?" You go, "Oh, I like to bake," and you bake Kurt, baked her an Oreo truffle. <laughs> oh, I baked a few different things, but um, that's my that's my like my uh wild card, the hidden card. It's uh, yeah. like, oh, okay. what's something different about you? It's like I can bake. I'm mean in the kitchen. And they're like, ooh, all right. All right, all right. Yeah. All right okay. I feel like also baking's extra points than cooking. Yeah, because like baking's a science. Yeah. You, got, you, you got to like follow exactly. But exactly. Um, cooking, you can add a bit of flair, but baking is, 
Yeah, science. You've got to get it on point. One lucky last thing before we let you go. Um, is there anything that you're potentially worried about? Is there anything that you did during the filming that may be <laughs> put Every, in final edits? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like I said, I was more nervous about seeing my face on TV, to be honest. Yeah. Um, I don't know if sure it was filmed or not, but um, there's a scene where I was in the gym and my pants split, so... Uh, <laughs> I was in a, I was in suit, uh, uh, my full suit, and I was doing um, some leg work, and yeah, my went end to end split. So uh, hopefully that doesn't make the, uh, the the show. But well, at least you didn't do any football practice with them. And yeah. End up mailing. Did, did you bowl? Did you bowl her over like you bowl the uh, women's football team when we go to practice? Or no comment. No. <laughs> hey, thanks so much for your time this morning, Kurt. Yeah, cheers. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Bro. No worries. Good luck for the show.